Hello everyone! In today's video, we will be learning about the Module 1 in Earth Science entitled Characteristics of Earth and its Subsystems. So this lesson describes the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life, particularly the essential components of this planet that drives all living things, which is the biotic components such as plants, animals, and microorganisms to exist. It also emphasizes on the different subsystems such as geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere that make up the Earth and how these systems interact and affect the planet Earth that we live in today. This will aid you in understanding the key concepts and topics that will help you answer the questions related to our very own planet Earth. So our first lesson, which is the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life. Well, of course, Earth is unique. It is termed as planet of life, where of course, matter and energy continue to flow. So most of the cells processes which of course requires energy coming from the sun, which is the main source of energy. Since Earth is a closed system, energy flows to all of its living components to continue various life processes and functions. The different forms of energy also allows the recycling of matter needed for life. So, what are the characteristics of Earth that makes life possible? And what makes Earth different from the rest of the planet and other heavenly bodies in the solar system? So we will be learning this as we go on. So Earth is unique in our solar system because it has liquid water on its surface. In fact, most of its surface is about 75% and covered with water. Water is present in the atmosphere, ground, fresh water, lakes, river, streams, and even in the polar ice cups. Water is also found in all living things. Some plants, for example, are as much as 90 to 95% water by weight. Adult humans are about 60% water by weight. So water is important for many life functions carried out by the cells, of course by the tissues and organs. It helps dissolve certain nutrients and carry them throughout an organism. Water is also important for disposing of bodily wastes. Scientists sometimes speak of Earth as having Goldilocks condition. In other words, Earth is just right for life as we know it. Earth's place in the solar system as the third planet from the sun places it in an area of space that is not too much hot nor too much cold. If the sun is closer to the Earth, liquid water would not be possible on this planet as all of it would be evaporated and all life forms will not exist. If it were a little farther away, it would be colder and liquid water would always be solid ice. Earth's temperatures range from about negative 88 degrees Celsius to 58 degrees Celsius. All organisms on the planet are adapted to temperatures within this range. So Earth has enough gravitational force to keep most gases close to its surface. These gases mix up the atmosphere. The planet's atmosphere is approximately 21% oxygen and a gas which is produced mostly by plants needed in respiration. Earth's atmosphere also traps heat and protects the Earth from the damaging rays of the sun. The moon and the only satellite of Earth also plays important role for life. The moon's gravitational pull causes tides. In some instances, the moon also plays a role in the distribution of life forms, like birds, for migration, and navigation. 
it also has an effect on the planet's polar shifts. So these are the following that factors that make our planet capable of sustaining varied life forms which thrive in the various ecosystems. First is the temperature. This will influence how quickly atoms and molecules move. Most living things are limited to a temperature range of negative 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degrees Celsius. Given this temperature range, water may still exist in liquid form, being crucial to life. Among the other planets, only Earth's surface has this temperature range. Next is water. This matter dissolves and transports materials in and out of the cell. Only Earth has the right chemical materials like liquid water that could support life. Right atmospheric conditions. The Earth's atmosphere is capable of trapping heat and houses the important atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen which cause the Earth to warm. It shields the surface from harmful radiation through the ozone layer and Earth has the right size to hold a sufficient sized atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is about 100 miles thick. Next is energy. Living things use light or chemical energy to run essential life processes. With the availability of sufficient energy, organisms can perform different metabolic reactions through the cells. The inner planets, such as Earth, get too much sunlight for life. The outer planets get too little. Fourth, right distance from the sun. Earth is in the Goldilocks zone, a region with a just the right temperature to sustain life, either not too cold nor too hot. Fifth, strong magnetic field. It shields us from the electromagnetic radiation coming from the sun. The magnetic field deflects the radiation that may destroy the ozone layer. Sixth, nutrients. These are materials that build and maintain an organism's body. The inner planets, including Earth and Moons, have the same general chemical components which makes nutrients easily available in the environment. There are various biogeochemical cycles and geologic processes that facilitate the transport and replenishment of the chemicals and nutrients required by the biotic factors. Examples include water cycle and volcanism. The presence of volcanoes, cycle of water, and atmosphere contribute to the flow of nutrients within Earth's system. 7. Greenhouse Gases Without the greenhouse effect, Earth would be frozen more than 60 degrees Fahrenheit colder. As mentioned above, the atmosphere is capable of trapping heat because of greenhouse gases. Examples of greenhouse gases are water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. 8. It is protected by the plate tectonics from the very hot temperature of the core. The Earth's core causes the convection currents in the mantle causing the overlaying lithosphere to move. However, the surface is protected from heat from the core by the lithospheric plates. These are the factors why is it that Earth is capable to support life. Thank you for listening and have a good day.